Welcome, Tafal Charot. Fintan Monahan is my name. I'm Bishop of Killaloo, and I have the happy privilege of reflecting with you for a few moments on what is a great treasure of the Church, of the Universal Church, a thing that we call the Divine Office, or the Liturgy of the Hours, or the Breviary. Many people are searching for different ways of praying, and what better way to pray than uh, using the Divine Office or the Liturgy of, of the Hours, which is a way literally of sanctifying time or making holy the time that we have, one of the great gifts that God has given us. And what the Divine Office or the Liturgy of the Hours is, it's a collection of prayers that are, are gathered together in a volume called the Breviary or the Liturgy of the Hours or the Divine Office. And they're also available in electronic format as well. So you can download a particular app, uh, perhaps Universalis or iBrevery or one of the various different electronic means to your little smartphone or to your iPad or, or to your computer as well. And you can get the whole text of the Divine Office or the Liturgy of the Hours. Tashi their fall as Gefreshen, they're in their own native tongue. Uh, and if you wanted to get the hard copy volumes, you have Orni Namajna, you have Midday Prayer, Natra Mian, and you have Arni and Trinona, and you have Arni Nahiha as well. Uh, and all of these are available as Gaelga as well on the various different apps, uh, which is wonderful to have. So many people then are curious as to what is in uh, the Divine Office. Uh, and literally, it's a collection of little small offices or little small prayers. And there are three main offices that uh, priests and religious and brothers and an increasing and large number of lay people pray. The main one that people like to pray is morning prayer, or what we call lauds. Uh, and in the lauds, it's an expression of appreciation for the day that is there and asking God's blessing on us uh, in the day that is ahead. In evening prayer, we call it Vespers, which is again an expression of thanksgiving to God uh, for the gift of the day. And we have Compline, which is night prayer. And there are, of course, a series of other offices, one of them being really interesting, called the Office of Readings or Matins, which is a longer collection of scripture readings uh, and reflections of the patristic church fathers linked in with the themes of either the Old Testament or the New Testament, and there is a catechetical element to it. Each of the offices at their core is a reflection on the Psalms, and the Psalms are such an important treasure for us as Christians as they were for the Jewish people, as they still are for the Jewish people. And the Psalms was a little prayer book that Jesus would have prayed so devoutly as, as Jews do. And similar to our own wonderful tradition where we have a whole series of poems and reflections and shanokla and things like that, the Psalms have a series of poems uh, from the wisdom literature that express the feelings of our heart to God, whether that be of praise or worship or thanksgiving or petition or giving out to God if necessary for the various different tough times and challenging times that we have in our lives. So at the core of most of the little offices are reflections on the Psalms, small little scripture reflections, short little responsories, a collection of intercessory prayers, and various different uh, and beautiful collects as well. So the Divine Office is a wonderful prayer. It's a very convenient prayer to pray. Uh, priests and nuns and religious pray it in, off or in, in common, and it is uh, so often sung, and that is the way to pray it. But anybody can pray the Divine Office, and an increasing number of lay people are beginning to pray the Liturgy of the Hours. I know in our own cathedral here in Ennis, up to 50 or 60 people would join the priests and religious of the parish at 7.20 a.m. in the morning before the Eucharist, before Mass, to pray the morning prayer, uh, our lauds, which is a beautiful way to start the day. So I wish you well in your efforts uh, to explore the wonderful tradition and treasure trove that the Liturgy of the Hours actually is, as many people describe it as the key to the day and the lock to the night. I'll finish with a beautiful little prayer from our uh, Nahiha, or from Kamplen, in our own native tradition, a beautiful patrician prayer that sums up the fact that we're linked in so beautifully to the Trinity, and it runs as follows. Nascum me fein in you, lenyartrein impina trinetra, credjav idzriracht, agus audwal eintocht an ilchrohihora. 
May the presence of the Trinity be in your heart and in your souls as you pray, whatever form that will take, and especially if you're interested in exploring and praying the wonderful tradition that is the Divine Office, the Liturgy of the Hours, the Breviary, or Unpartus as we call it in our native tongue. Amen. Amen.